Hey guys, welcome to Guys Tech and today in this video I'm gonna tell you about the pros and cons of the Pixel UI ROM which is based on Android 7.1.1 So I've been using this ROM now over a week and sorry for the delay because in my area there's a festival going on there are lots of loudspeakers around my house so it's really hard to make videos uh, because of uh, the loudspeakers so now I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons of this room the things uh, that are working the things those are not working so let's get started so first of all I would like to say the wallpapers are decent here live wallpapers are not working here you can select any of the wallpapers and those are really cool you can download so many wallpapers from uh, you know, this store uh, those are online so you can download them and they are so ultra high quality wallpapers and those are looking really really good and this room is running smoothly battery is smooth actually uh, in our K3 note and the pixel UI is looking really great I don't know how the icons are changed automatically I think because of the update uh, it's the icons all the icons are automatically changed so that's not a big deal actually and I have enabled the software key you can uh, see that software key uh, I, I really like the software key so now let's uh, go to the settings and show you what things are working so in the notification toggle you can edit them as well if you go to the settings Wi-Fi is working Bluetooth is working SIM cards are working perfectly fine Geo SIM is working properly Geo 4G SIM is working properly and Volt is not present here Volt is not working and if you go to the more option here is the tethering option Bluetooth tethering and the Wi-Fi tethering all are working pretty fine and if you go to the display part and uh, the adaptive brightness that means the auto brightness is working pretty fine no issues and the buttons you can select uh, the function of the buttons here you can uh, select the on screen buttons as well as the hardware keys so no issues here and the storage are really good um, it's using internal storage as my primary storage so let's now talk about the battery life and here I have a mixed experience actually it's not bad or it's not even good it's kind of mediocre I would say because I think the kernels uh, which is uh, using 2 gigahertz if you're not using 2 gigahertz then also I think the governor scale uh, because of that govern governor scale it's consuming a lot more battery I would suggest you go to the performance mode and go to the pr processor option and here it's the default as you can see PGA you, see, you can use the power saving mode and uh, uh, maximize the minimum frequency to 702 megahertz so that uh, your phone always run on 702 megahertz to run uh, very smoothly and if you are using a day-to-day -day basis it, this will not uh, these settings will not have any kind of issues in my day-to-day -day usage I haven't uh, I used the power save mode so I, I hope and I'm pretty much sure that it will increase the battery life it can uh, so that the screen on time can go over four, four hours, four and a half hours or five hours. So try it and I hope uh, that will really help you. For day to day usage and uh, even gaming, this ROM is performing really great. I haven't any kind of issues. I have played a lot more games. You can watch the uh, five addictive games. Uh, those I have played in this ROM and those work really fine with it. Also guys, uh, in day-to-day -day usage, I haven't any kind of major issues um, so that I can change the room. There is no issues. Cameras are working perfectly fine. No issues with the camera. Even uh, the video is working pretty fine. Audio is recording pretty fine. Yes, there are minor big times of post closing issues with some apps because I think the Nobot is not yet compatible with some apps. So that's why it's happening. And you can see the user application here everything is in details and there is no overheating issues or something even if you run in 2 gigahertz this will not uh, heat up and you can see that in the sensor department all the sensors are working pretty fine even it has enabled some extra sensors those sensor i haven't seen yet in k3 node so that's a very good thing and guys fm radio is not working that's a, not a big deal actually and guys one amazing thing I have noticed that um, the touch screen issues of Lenovo K3 Note as like fixed 
uh, guys i i'm using this room um, like uh, five to six days now and i haven't seen any kind of touch issues if i'm typing chatting or doing whatever i haven't seen uh, the touch issues so if you guys are facing the same like me uh, kindly let me know in the comments below and guys before wrapping it up i would like to say this is one of the best android no good build for k3 node heads up to the super eagle and its team so finally i would say i recommend this rom uh, very much you can flash it uh, but but in your at your own risk uh, take a risk and flash it i i recommend you to do a clean flash uh, wipe the dalv cache and cache properly so that uh, the rom flash clearly so that you shouldn't have any kind of process error issues or force closing issues or ui closing issues uh, so uh, i'm recommending this rom but at your own risk and here you can see some benchmark results the only thing i do not like in this room is the battery life the battery life is kind of average but considering it has only 2900 mh battery it's good enough so in the battery part this room uh, is a little bit downside but apart from this everything is just super fine the battery is kind of not an issue for me because i have uh, now two power banks i don't have to worry about it it not like that battery drains very fast it's not like that but uh, if you are using your phone it drains a lot more battery that's it i think because of the kernel it's uh, happening so i have seen lots of rooms those are performing uh, really good in terms of battery life compared to this so yep that's it for this video guys i hope this video is helpful and guys i do apologize for the delay if anything i just missed just let me know in the comment section below and i will try to answer you and i'm going to make another video on question and answer session and i'm going to collect all the questions from the comment section which you have posted in the videos which are uh, mostly common and i'm going to make a separate video of those questions so stay tuned for that thank you guys thank you guys for watching and i will catch you in the next one